it's been quite a while. It's been so long. Finally opening back up the Z06 again, winding out the RPMs. It's a very smooth car. I forgot how smooth it was. The composure is one of the best uh, attributes about this vehicle. If you recall, about a week and a half ago, maybe two weeks ago, I came out with a, a video talking about how I was uh, denied my 500,000 uh, Chevrolet reward points for keeping the Z06 uh, for six months. I do want to talk about a lot of really awesome news I just got word of today. Here's a good spot, I think, let's put in park. Now, here's the deal, here's the deal. Uh, I just got an email from a Trevor, great guy at a Chevrolet, he works with Corvettes. In the email, it talks all about the 500,000 reward points you can get as a My Chevrolet Rewards member when buying the Z06. After you wait six months, you get rewarded this. Anyways, here's what it says. Chevrolet is adjusting the program that rewards 2023 Corvette Z06 owners for retaining their vehicle for six months in order to make the benefit to customers more clear. All 2023 Corvette Z06 customers have until December 1st, 2023 to enroll in My Chevrolet Rewards to be eligible for the 500,000 Vehicle Retention Award. 500,000 point vehicle retention award. Sorry, I, I uh, missed that word right there. <laughs> I'm just gonna stop real quickly right here. There's much more to the email. That means that you have the chance to, to still get these 500,000 reward points if you didn't understand the original set of rules that were out. I personally never found them anywhere. The original rules stated that you had within 30 days to sign up for my Chevrolet rewards after buying the Z06 in order to be eligible for these points. I didn't know that because I think the misunderstanding can be largely placed on the ownership contract because in the contract, it lays out how if you keep your car, if you do keep your car for six months, you will be um, rewarded these points. It didn't say anywhere about a time window of signing up for my Chevrolet rewards. And, and I think Chevrolet realizes that and they want to make sure that Z06 owners and customers don't feel like they've been like messed up over the whole scenario, which this is great news because as a result of these videos and the attention put out there regarding um, the whole experience that we had, I really do think that many Z06 owners will uh, be very happy to hear this. I, I know personally a lot of people reached out to me telling me, Austin, I'm in the same scenario. I didn't know this. Uh, that means I don't get my $5,000 reward because the 500,000 GM reward points equates to $5,000 that you get to spend on anything Chevrolet related that is, again, eligible. For example, if you have a um, GM financial account, you can use the $5,000 you get from this to pay car payments, to pay down your loan, or you can use it on service. You can keep getting a track alignments done and tire changes and you don't need to pay any money out of your own pocket because you have 500,000 reward points from Chevrolet. You can also buy accessories, which I'll get to shortly. L let me continue reading this email. Uh, documentation signed by the customer will be updated to state that enrolling in My Chevrolet Rewards is required for claiming points. It will also alert customers that points will be uploaded 45 days after the customer reaches six months of ownership and is enrolled in the GM Rewards program. This allows for Chevrolet to verify ownership status meets program requirements. This makes sense. They have to check to see if you still own the car. 45 days gives them enough time to do that and then um, give you these points. Again, this is fantastic because with this contract that owners are signing when buying the car, it didn't originally say this. Now it does. Everything is more clear. I love it how the misunderstanding is turning into a positive that is helping everybody. Continuing on in the email, the next bulleted point says, my Chevrolet rewards points can be redeemed towards the purchase of Chevrolet vehicles, accessories, parts, service, and more, as I stated um, briefly a second ago. Lastly, 
Trevor says, in order to receive points for the vehicle purchase or lease, customers must enroll in My Chevrolet Rewards within 30 days of the vehicle purchase delivery. This is important, and he stated this again towards the end to make sure that this message is loud and clear. The reason why the dates are different for 2023 Z06 owners in 2024 is that the rules are being laid out more explicitly for the cars coming up. Uh, for anyone who took delivery, I think there's like over a thousand Z06s out there now currently, all those people may have not known about this time window. This is to help those customers because they're spending a lot of money. They're very early when it comes to the phases of buying this all new supercar. This is to give them the benefit of the doubt from my understanding, which is very good news. I'm, I'm happy because uh, I can let people know who texted me or anyone else out there that if you didn't sign up for my GM rewards within 30 days, because maybe you're just having so much fun you just picked up your Z06, you didn't see anywhere online or within the contract about this information, well guess what? Now you can still get the points and use it to buy GM accessories, service parts. This is great news. I, I'm so happy about everything, how it's turned out, and I'm actually very impressed by, by the, the Corvette team, Chevy team, because the good news is Chevy does care, and they want to make sure that this is a positive process for owners to experience and also get involved with the My Rewards program. That leads me to the next question in this video. How should we spend the points? We can spend it on really anything. Uh, some of the options that I actually saw right away, we could buy an OEM original set of Z06 wheels. No, no, I'll stop you there before you think any further. Not carbon fiber wheels, those are too expensive. Uh, for $5,000, you actually have enough money there to buy four wheels, that being two fronts, two backs, that are for the standard Z06. They're about $1,000 per wheel, so then out the door you're looking at um, over $4,000. However, that is option number one. We could get a second set of wheels. I know the steering tuning will be different. Uh, we might experience differences. I know with my McLaren, uh, putting on the iron or the steel rotors, having carbons before, it probably made the car slower, but I'm still able to put down fast laps with it. I don't think that it'll be uh, as big of a deal as we think. However, that's just the first thing. Secondly, you can also buy a brand new um, carbon fiber engine brace. That's cool, that's cool. Check out the photo right here. Thirdly, you can also get a carbon fiber for the front end. That'll be cool if you wanna finish off all the exterior carbon fiber for the car. Or, what I'm very intrigued about, we could get more tires or, or brake pads. Woohoo! I know most people aren't excited about brake pads. They're like, what? A part that you're gonna destroy? However, this is getting me thinking. What do you think? Right away, second set of OEM GM Chevrolet wheels, a carbon fiber engine brace, carbon fiber front end components, brake pads, tires, or money to be spent on a service like uh, track alignments and more. There's so much we can do. We have $5,000 ready to spend so the points have landed in the account thankfully in summary this whole scenario was a big misunderstanding i don't think anyone is particularly to to be blamed because it's not like they're not trying to make things right they are there's so much that we can do with these points i don't know where to start uh to be honest with you maybe a second set of wheels with tires could be a very good option because uh going to the track you all saw what happened that one time at chuck walla where the tpms sensor stopped working having a second set could be could be very beneficial because i could just swap on the other set however they are heavier wheels i think the total rotating mass it would be about 40 50 pounds more please let me know if i'm wrong in the comment section down below let's say that we want a hot lap set and then also a set that we just want to use up all the rubber on and get more and more comfortable with the car we could use the standard z06 wheels uh, to do that and then going out onto the track for a hot lap early in the morning we could put on the carbon fiber wheels plus for street use having the oem standard z06 wheels could be very um, uh, safe versus the carbon wheels if something bad happens to them 
they will cost a lot of money. For example, hitting a pothole. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe for much more great content coming out your way. While you do that, hit the notification bell so you do not miss a new release, a new upload. I do have a uh, special event planned for this weekend. Uh, stay tuned for that. I will see all of you in the next episode. I'm happy to end off all the, uh, the nightmares we've been going through with all this positivity that not only is good for us, but is good for the entire Corvette community. That's what we do here, and I'm happy it all worked out. I'll see all of you in the next one.